Hey guys, it's Yaya Royal again and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I applied these iron-on decals from the Sparkle Company onto some satin robes for my quarantine graduation. If you would like to see how I achieved this, then please continue watching this video. Alright, let's get started. And you're going to need an iron to achieve this. First, I turned on the iron on low heat and I continue to press the entire robe on low heat. And you want to do this on low heat because it is satin material and if it gets too hot, you will end up burning the robe. The cute iron-on decals that I'm going to use are from the Sparkle Company. They are a handmade design business located in Chicago. They customize in a variety of designs ranging from cups, t-shirts, stickers, and more. They ship everywhere around the U.S. And I also left their information in the description box so you can go ahead and check them out. These are the cute press-on decals that I received from the Sparkle Company. They say mother of the graduate, sister of the graduate, and Yaya Royal mastered it with the little graduation cap above the words. Now you're always going to want to iron on a hard flat surface and then you're going to place the sticky side down onto the fabric. Put the pressing cloth over the design. I am using tissue paper that you use for inside of gift bags. But if you'd like, you can use a pressing cloth. Set your iron on wool setting, no steam. Temperature may be adjusted as needed and all irons are different. I did put mines on high and this is depending on the type of iron that you're using. And I do go ahead and iron this for about 60 seconds. As you can see, it wasn't ready yet. So I went ahead and I placed the tissue paper back on it and I started ironing it again. And I did it for about 30 to 45 seconds. Now, I go ahead and I remove the tissue paper and I remove the sticky plastic over it. And as you can see, it is coming out. I was just trying to see if it really was stuck to it and it was. So, I went ahead and I just removed it off of it. Now I place the tissue paper over the transfer again to allow the transfer to stick onto the roll completely.
Now I go ahead and I start with my mother's robe and I basically do the same steps that I did with my robe. Place the sticky side down onto the fabric and then I put the pressing cloth over the design. And then as you can see, I'm using a tissue paper. And then you wanna make sure that you set your iron onto wool setting, no steam. I am using mines on high because all irons are different. And then I just go ahead and I just iron it for 60 seconds. Now I begin working on my sister's robe and I place the sticky side down onto the fabric and I put the tissue paper over the design and I go ahead and I use my iron and I use it for about 60 seconds or more and as you may know that all irons are different and the temperature may be adjusted as needed. I am using high because of the type of iron I am using. And then I just go ahead and I just continue ironing it. Once you're done ironing it, please allow the transfer to cool completely before you peel it off. Now, here are some tips about washing it and keeping your design on your shirt or whether it's a robe or anything that you use. So you want to make sure that you turn your shirt inside out when washing it. This will prevent your design from fading and being washed away. And then make sure when you're drying it to put it on low heat to prevent it from cracking or shrinking. Also, make sure you use a hard, clean surface when you're ironing it because this will prevent wrinkles in the design and give it an easier time ironing. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below if you guys have any questions or suggestions and I'll be more than happy to answer it. Thank you so much for watching this video beautiful people and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next video until next time every single day